Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super fun video to film for you. This is going to be my 2016 holiday gift guide. I'm actually going to film two of these. I'm going to film my top 10 gifts for sewing and quilting and then today's video is going to be my top gifts for educational um, toys for your kids. So I hope that you enjoy these videos. One of the best parts about them is that I have a bunch of these gifts to give away to you guys. So I'm going to be running a 12 days of Christmas giveaways over on my Instagram account and I will link that information below so you can find out how to enter to win. And if you are watching this video on December 1st, then the giveaways start today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of cool gifts to show you. So I'm going to kind of start out with the younger kids and then go up a little bit towards the older kids. So my first gift that I have is this kind of fun um, three-in-one play and learn cash register center. Now the cool thing about this prize or toy is that um, there's lots of buttons to push, there's noises, there's um, information that pops up on the screen, they can weigh things, they can scan things, and it's just really good for their fine motor skills and their hand-eye coordination, and plus it's um, you know visually appealing, audio, um, it appeals to their sense of sound and all of those things. So this is a great gift if you're looking for someone who's a little bit younger. Um, I think this says, does it say like an age on it? Usually they do. Um, this says 18 months and up. So I would say probably 18 to maybe, I don't know, two or maybe even a three-year-old would still like this gift. This is from Lakeshore Learning, and I don't know if you guys have been to their website, but they have a really cool selection of educational, but they're also still really fun and colorful and engaging um, things in their store. So if you haven't checked them out, um, go for that. Now, I will try and link all of these products below in my description box as well in case you're interested and um, you need to see a little bit more information. So here's this first one. All right, my next one is also from Lakeshore Learning, and this one is a create your own ribbon board. Now this is for ages three to four, and or four and up, I'm sorry. And basically what it is is kind of this blank canvas, and then the kids can create their own boards, decorate it. It comes with fun stickers and paints and elastics, um, let's see, buttons, foam, glitter, glue, glitter, glue, wood glue, and then there's also instructions on how to do it. So I will do some close-ups of these as well so you can kind of see them a little bit more. I'll also be putting prices along the bottom of the screen as well. So this one is from Lakeshore Learning again. All right, my next thing here are for the artists in the family. So these are for younger kids, and what they are are the washable liquid tempera paints, which they come in several different colors. And then they also have these really cool um, containers that you can put the paints in. And you, the lids come off so you can put the paint inside. And then you open up the lid on the top and then you can place your matching colored paintbrush inside there, get to all of the paints and all that kind of thing, clean this off, shut the lid, you're not wasting the paints. This is really good for younger artists because it's a lot more, um, it's a little bit less messy and it kind of keeps the colors organized and things aren't spilling. If this spills over, the colors won't come out and that kind of thing. And even if the lid is open and it spills, the paint, unless it's super, super full, the paint will actually pool kind of down here in the bottom and so it won't you know, come all the way out, so it's much less messy. But I will show you a close-up of these that show you all the colors that they come in, but these are really good if you have a younger artist in your family. All right, so those products that I just mentioned were from Lakeshore Learning, and they are not included in my giveaway. However, I do have a 20% off coupon for you guys, so I will put that information in my box below so that you can go and take advantage of that. All right, so my next gift is still in the long, um, along the lines of art supplies, and these are the Quick Sticks um, Solid Tempera Paint Pens, and these are actually really, really cool. You can find them at Target. Um, you can also find them online, but they're basically paint sticks, and they are pretty much no mess. They do come out slightly wet, so you still have to let your painting dry. They come in sets of 12. I do have this one as a giveaway for you guys today. They also come in some really cool metallic colors as well. They were backordered, so they weren't able to get me one of these in time for the video, but they do have them available in Targets and online. So these are a super cool and kind of fun artistic gift to give. These might also be great stocking stuffers as well. So these would be great for a stocking stuffer. If you wanted to do it as the gift, like your main gift, I would probably pair it with one of these mixed media um, 
they're like spirals and we use these for our art but they're actually really nice they're fairly thick quality paper I think I got these at my local Michaels store but I'm sure you can find them online as well um, but then they can kind of paint and keep their projects in here and since the paper is nice and thick it doesn't really warp or bleed through um, as you can see my daughter has made all kinds of paintings and drawings and whatnot in here so this combined with something like the quick sticks pencils or even the um, lakeshore paints that I just showed would also probably be a wonderful gift for um, someone who really likes art and artists kind of stuff so my next thing would be for an older child who likes art now I'll show you a close-up of the inside of this but this is essentially just an artist kit it's got all kinds of fun supplies in it um, we got this for my older daughter last year and she has absolutely been loving it she loves art she loves everything to do with art and as you can see it is full of markers pens colored pencils um, there's also paints in there and then if I can show you the inside, I'll probably have to do a close up, but it lifts up and there's pastels in there, paint brushes, um, watercolors, and I've actually seen these with several different things in them, so you can kind of get one that might be more customizable to, um, you know, whoever you're buying it for. And I will have to look up the price on this. I can't remember exactly how much it was. It was obviously a little bit more than just like the paints and the pens and things like that. But this is actually a really great option if you have an older student or even I would say maybe maybe like eight and up, something like that. There are a lot of paints in here, so this might not be something you want to give to a younger child, or, or you could give it to them, but then make sure you're kind of, you know, uh, sitting with them when they do it and that kind of thing. So, but my oldest daughter loves this. She keeps it in her room. She has a desk up there, and she's always up there doing like different artwork and projects and things like that. So she really liked this, and if you have an artist in your family, then they might like it as well. So that is another gift idea. All right, and I have one more art thing that I actually don't have the box because my daughter has um, put it all in with her regular art supplies, but it's from Smile, Create, Repeat, and they are doing a giveaway for me for one of their boxes. They're a subscription box company, and they send out once a month boxes full of fun art supplies. They come with instructions on how you can use those art supplies, and they also have online video tutorials as well. So that is also a really fun gift as well. Um, my next gift I have is more along the lines of reading. So if you have somebody who likes reading or you just want to get them interested in reading, there's a really cool subscription box out there called Lily Post, and they send you a box every month. And I like again, I'll put prices below, but they send you a box, and then inside the box, there are wrapped books. And there are in this box, anyways, there are four of them. I'm not sure if there's always four or not, but it says, Thank you for signing up. We're so excited to have you get our box. Good, um, let's see. Our highlight of this box is the beauty, beautifully illustrated um, title, Good Night Songs, a celebration of the seasons where poems about nature and music have been set, to, or nature have been set to music. Be sure to share this unboxing with us if you do. So we are going to unbox this. So there are four different books in here, and as you can see, they're all wrapped like presents. So, you know, I think that makes it kind of fun for a child because it's like they're getting gifts and whatnot and they like to unwrap stuff, right? And so they're all, you can kind of select your age group so that you get books that are appropriate for your child. So they would be things like board books, picture books, and things like that. These really are geared towards younger kids, but they're still a really fun Christmas idea um, if you like have somebody who really likes to read because it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving. If you purchase them at subscription box, they'll get a new box of fun books every month. So they're really cool and fun in that way. Um, so this is a kind of a fun gift idea as well. You could, of course, also get them books from a local store or online as well. Um, there's several fun options, and I actually have a lot of reading suggestions on my website if you go check that out if you're in need of some ideas of what books to get. All right, moving on to some of the more things for a little bit older kids. My first item here is a Tinker Crate, and I will insert a picture of kind of what the inside of this originally looked like because my son has already done this. But basically what it is is a month, another monthly subscription box, which is really fun, and it comes with all of the supplies that you need to make a different like project each month. And so they're all kind of science and robotics related. They do have these available for different ages of kids, and so you can kind of select what you think would be the best fit for the person that you are giving it to. But they'll receive one of these boxes every month, and then that's like a project, a fun project for them to work on. They're really fun and they're good for anyone who is interested in kind of building and tinkering, um, you know, robotics type of gifts. So this is a great gift idea as well. 
Um, oh, and I forgot to mention that I do have a, a coupon code for the Lily Box, and it's 20 or 10% off. I will make sure to put the coupon code below um, for you for that. And then I also have a 30% off coupon for the Tinker Crate boxes as well, and I will put the coupon code for that as well. Um, then I also have a home art studio DVD giveaway and supplies for the kindergarten level. So that will be inserted right here because I don't actually have all the supplies in hand to show you. But I'll be giving away a DVD that has all of the lessons, online lessons, and the kit of supplies that go with the kindergarten level so you can do art at home. These are really fun. They're really good because you can put them in your computer or laptop or whatever, start the video, pause the video, rewind, do it over, um, and she has all the supplies that you need to make cool, fun art projects. And so it's kind of like an online lesson. You don't have to teach it yourself, but your kids can sit and do art projects. And then what I have found is that my kids will then later on repeat those same skills that they learned in that DVD on some other thing that they've made, which I think is really cool because it inspires them to create things on their own. So that is it kind of for the art supplies. Now one other thing I wanted to mention really quickly, ugh, this one is heavy. I will try and do a close up of it because you're not gonna be able to probably see it on here. But a lot of you know that we have done the Lego education um, robotics kind of units. And so we did these in a co-op, but these are actually also really fun to do with your child at home as well. Now how these work, typically they'll have two kids per box, so you would buy like one of these boxes. This particular one is the Simple Machines box, and then it comes with all of the teacher's manuals, or not teacher's manuals, the building kits, and plus all of the Legos. And they're actually stacked in here. So if I pull out this tray, there's another tray below it, and plus all of the um, the instructions to create different things. And it's really cool because it kind of gets your kids um, learning a little bit more about robotics and gears and how things work and how to make them work better and um, just a lot of critical thinking skills. So we have really liked this kit um, in the past. We went through it with the whole season. Um, actually, it took us two seasons to get through with our co-op group. We only met once a month and might have even been almost three by the time we were all done. I think there's 36 different things. Um, lessons I believe if you get the activity teachers manual guide that goes with this then you have like almost a full year of lessons if you did it every week I think it's like 36 lessons if I recall correctly um, or you could spread them out and do them you know, every couple of weeks or whatever. So, but this is really great. Um, so are the Lego Mindstorms as well. They are a little bit more expensive, but they're really, really cool for programming skills, um, robotic skills, and things like that. So um, this is a great gift idea if you have somebody who's really interested in that kind of stuff, likes to build things, likes to learn how to program computers and things like that. The um, Lego We Do kits actually do hook up to your computer through a USB port, and you do some programming through their software um, to make the item actually like function or drive or spin or whatever it needs to do. So they're actually really, really cool and educational at the same time. Great gifts for people who love to build. All right, my next thing I have is this ugh, super cool, who doesn't love Legos right now that we're on the Lego kit. This one is actually the crawler crane um, and this one is, does it have an age on it? Um, <laughs> Normally the ages are somewhere on the bottom. I don't actually see it, um, but I think that you can kind of decide based on the skill level on this. It has 1,401 pieces, it says. Oh, ages, <laughs> 10 to 16, the big letters. Um, anyway, so this is a great gift for anyone, again, like I said, who is interested in Legos or building. They also have some really cool educational building sets, like, you know, some of them, like the White House, and like I think there's a couple of famous bridges and things like that. They're also really cool and educational as well. Um, so if you're going to be doing something like Lego related, why not make it educational? Why not make it kind of robotics related and and learn how to build things and put things together and make them work properly and things like that so I really like those kind of kids again the Mindstorms the we do kids um, things like this where they're functioning kids and they have to kind of you know make them lift things and things like that are really great um, gift ideas for kids so this one is another top pick for us all right um, one thing Sorry, one thing for the teacher in your life um, or you um, that I suggest as a gift or if you have someone who is homeschooling or even just a teacher in general is the Xyron 9 inch 
um, easy laminator. Now, this has been my best friend for like years and years. Um, this guy is super easy to use. I have a whole review on it if you'd like to see how it works and all that kind of information. I do have one of these to give away as, um, for you guys as well, so stay tuned for that. Again, check my Instagram for all those giveaways. But this is a non-heat laminator. It's a cold laminator, so it uses sticky product to adhere to whatever you're laminating, which makes it really, really nice. Um, things don't, the lamination doesn't peel up. You can do smaller pieces. You can do larger pieces. It also has a magnetic laminate refill so you can make things into magnets um, so it's just got a really um, good variety I think of options as far as a laminator goes it's fairly um, the refills um, can be a little bit pricey but I always use my coupons on either jo if you either get them on Amazon with with discount or on like Joann's or Michael's and you can use a coupon code form so they're a little bit more reasonable and since it's like a sticky laminate you can put in small pieces and just run it through like far enough to get that piece laminated and chop it off so you're not like wasting like a whole sheet of laminate or whatever. So this is literally one of my favorite um, machines that we've had probably for our entire homeschooling career. So anyways, I really recommend this if you have a teacher or homeschooler or anybody who might be in need of this type of, type of thing. Here um, I've got a Kindle Fire. So I think that if you have somebody who's really into reading, um, there's also a lot of educational apps you can download and things like that. This is a great gift. I do have one of these for giveaway as well. So um, this is kind of a fun little, um, just makes things a little bit easier. You can take it with you. It's a lot more mobile. You can have lots of books stored on here. Um, you can also get to your local library through the Overdrive app, I believe. And so you can get a lot of reading done with a small amount of, like not carrying around a lot of books and that kind of thing. For younger kids, I do still really like to have the actual books because I like the tangible, you know, you're turning the pages, you're learning which direction to read in, and you have things to look at. Um, but if you have an older child, like teenager or preteen or whatever, this is who likes to read, this is probably a great gift idea for them um, because that way they can, it's a lot more portable, they can take it with them, they can have it, you know, sit, you know, sitting on the couch or whatever, and they don't have like a thousand books or whatever. So this is a great gift idea as well for anybody interested in that. So stay tuned for that. All right, one other thing that we always like to do with all of this gift giving is also try and give back. And so I have my kids every year fill um, an Operation Christmas Child shoe box. Now these are sometimes the only gifts that the kids that receive these will get. And so I really like to have my kids giving something back. So they are in charge of filling this entire box themselves with goodies that they would like to receive for Christmas as well. We always go shopping as a family and then they pick out anything that they would like to put inside. Now you're gonna wanna visit the Operation Christmas Child um, uh, website just to find out what you can and can't put in boxes because sometimes their regulations change and we don't want boxes getting held up in customs or anything like that. If there's a box with something bad in there, they can hold up the entire truck shipment and then the kids won't get their boxes and so that's not a good thing. So um, anyways, there's lots of fun things that you can put inside these boxes. We always stuff them as full as we can possibly get them and then we are, my daughter is actually going today to work at one of the processing centers. You have to be 13 years old but I think it's great. She's going to go and volunteer and help fill the boxes and get them all shipped and packed and ready to go. I think it's a great experience for kids to get involved in. It's also a good way of getting their minds off of themselves and receiving gifts and on to giving and um, you know sharing the love of Christ with the people around them. So this is a great option um, if you're looking for something to do. There's also a lot of other charities out there that you can give to and participate in during this time of year. And I will put all of the information for the Operation Christmas Child um, boxes below. Since this video is going up on the 1st, it's probably a little bit late for you to fill a box and turn it into a church. However, if you have a collection site near you, you can bring the boxes there right up until, um, I can't remember what their cutoff is, but it's coming up soon, so you'll want to do that fairly quickly. But all right, and then last but not least, I have another fun giveaway from my store personally, and I will be giving away some of my curriculum to you guys. Again, that will be running on Instagram, so you'll want to stay tuned and check that out to see what those giveaways are. And we also have gift cards, which are new to our store. So you can purchase a gift card, and then what happens is you'll get an email back with redeem codes for that card, and you can print that out or email it or whatever you want, send it to um, someone who you know who homeschools and has been maybe wanting to purchase some curriculum but hasn't had the money, or it's just also kind of a nice gift to give so they can make their educational experience a little bit more fun. So we'll have those available in my store. I'll put a link right here so you can go over there and check those out and get those ordered in time for Christmas. They're um, almost immediately immediate downloads, so you should have like you know, fairly quickly. I would want to caution you, I do have to manually approve all of them right now, and so if you order it like 
you know, on the 24th. I may not be checking my emails that day just because we'll be celebrating and that kind of thing. So maybe try and get them in a little bit before that. The other fun thing that I always like to do in December is run a sale. So for the 12 days of Christmas giveaways that I'll be doing, I will also be having a 30% off everything in my store sale, which is a great deal. It's um, I only run two sales a year, so this is one of them. So make sure to get your products now if you've been kind of holding out and waiting for that. So this has been my giveaway video for 2016 holiday gift guide. I hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you some fun information. I will post a blog post with a few more like stocking stuffers and little things that I don't have to show in this video for you and I'll link that below as well so you can go and get some more fun ideas for um, you know stocking stuffers and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this 2016 holiday gift guide and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas.